Project Eunice 2.0, the ugly. This video is just going to show what we ran into at the very beginning of the project, some of the damage that we saw, the water damage, uh, a few other things that kind of shows what this thing was actually up against and some of the repairs that were going to be needed for this thing. So in this first slide, you can just see this is uh, right before we started the model, right before I started pulling everything out of here. And you can see it's a typical early 1990s camper with the beautiful blue and the uh, incredibly nice lush carpet and the uh, awesome brown paneling and everywhere. Now the thing is, it actually in this picture, it doesn't look all that bad as far as the damage. It's because a lot of the water damage was hidden and it was underneath. And when we started taking things out, that's where we saw a lot of the water damage. So this is just the first thing you did is take the couch out and you can see underneath uh, behind the walls. This wall was pretty bad. The window was leaking. You see this tape trying, you know, holding it together there. Uh, and this uh, corner wall had a lot of water damage on it. And this was just pulling the couch out. And you could just see that, I don't know, this is starting to get a, a little bit ugly. And one of the other things we saw around here too was this is the ceiling, obviously. Now it didn't look like this when we started, but there was a crack down the middle of the ceiling. I put my finger up there and just pulled down and like the whole thing just came down no problem. And that just shows you how much water damage it was up there and with that crack uh, up in the middle here the, there's really not much uh, structure to the roof at this point so it probably would have been bad if uh, somebody walked across that. Next one is this is on the left picture here see where it's circled that is a soft spot in the floor so this is with the carpet removed and uh, all of the plywood that is normally would be the top of this is rotted and then underneath that, which is the foam board broke, and that's how you get the soft spots inside of the camper. So this is right in front of the microwave and the stove, and it was just leaked. It leaked from, uh, uh, you know, from wherever it leaked, and it just caused that damage. So that was something that was a, a bit of a major repair that we had to do on it. And then on the picture on the right side, it's more where the couch was. You can see that this is just starting to pull off all the wallpaper and whatever veneer was underneath it. So I basically just pulled off enough of the wall I didn't want to take, I couldn't take everything down, uh, but I pulled off enough layers to where I found dry, and that's that's about as far as I could. When it looked like there was some structure there and it was dry, uh, that's about as far. But this was just all done with my hands. I didn't use any tools to get this off. Next slide over here, you can see the droop in the cab, and you can see where, um, this is actually a picture before the remodel when we went camping with it, and you can see on the front that this line across here should be nice and straight, and it wasn't. It was drooping down, which means that a lot of the wood and the support that's in that cab is just completely rotted, and we never realized how bad it was. And then uh, this is a picture that was a little bit, little ways into the remodel where I took the cushion off that was up here. Um, I literally put my elbow through the wood and then I ended up just scooping the wood out. And I mean scooping like the wood was just rotted. There was actually water under here. Um, this beam that goes across the top, that was completely gone. And that's why there was all that droop and sag in the front because there was just no more structure. Luckily on this, that the foam board underneath the walls was in pretty good shape. And I still had to do it, still had a, a major rebuild to get this thing back up and going. There was still a little bit of structure there. What I ended up having to do was temporarily add these stilts underneath it because I was afraid the front, I wasn't afraid it was going to fall, I was afraid that the fiberglass was going to crack or something bad or I might fall through the bottom of it or something like that and so I put these stilts up in order to give it a little bit of support as we were working on it. And next is the shower. Uh, the shower actually wasn't in too bad a shape but it was just ugly and when we pulled the fiberglass out of this, this fiberglass was actually white at one point and it just turned yellow over time which I just think is completely absolutely gross. On um, another picture it just is on the front you can just see that there's just stains all over the carpet things are spilled uh, my kids and myself spilled everything everywhere uh, I had this ugly wood uh, trim or whatever this stuff is all around in the front and it was just it was just so in need of an update for it. The last slide on here is this is almost at the end of the project. This is the same camper uh, and you can see that it looks completely different than in the first uh, in the first few pictures. So 
it was so worth the pain. Uh, we had to replace the ceiling, the floor, every single wall in here, a lot of the electrical, all the appliances. There was just a big, giant list of things to do. But when we got to the very end of this thing, it was so worth the pain. So I wanted to show um, just kind of very quickly some of the problems that we encountered in the very beginning. I hope this enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.